Hey guys, we're here to do affiliate coupon codes. We're here with Erica and we're going through her new website. So once you log into Shopify, you go to apps and then your affiliate program is Lead Dino. So in Lead Dino, you can see everything going on, your traffic, if you have any affiliates, which you already do. So then you can click on, all right, so we'll click on this one. So in here, you can see the affiliate information and then you can see their affiliate code. So they have none right now. Edit affiliate, and then go down to their code. Affiliate code. What do you want the code to be? This is Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So make sure you guys copy this over. All right, so now it's set in your affiliate program, but you need to go back to your website. So depending if you're using subscription or not, there's two ways to do this. So Erica, you don't need to do this one because you're using a subscription base, but the basic way is discount code and then create, and then you just create your code right here with whatever percent you want. So if you're doing e-commerce and you have a product, you could do it right here. But Erica has a subscription base we're going to scar this. We're going to go to back to our apps. Now you want to go to your recurring payment program. All right, so we logged in. This is the code, the different programs I was talking about. See how the fees get lower. Um, so then under invoice, you have promo codes. So here you can create your first code. Then you can just copy and paste your, your code. Maybe. Nope. So what was it? Right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now do you want this code to be once repeating or forever? So basically, if it's forever, the affiliate will get paid every time this purchase is made through. And if there's a discount tied to this, They'll get the discount. So this will be a link. Is this a link or a coupon code? This is a coupon code. So when someone goes to my website, they can use this code. Right. For percentage so off. this this affiliate can use this code. Not even for a percentage off. Um, this can also, if you don't want to use the links, you can just use the codes. Because sometimes links can be used for spamming, or there there'll be errors if someone uses one browser versus the other or a phone versus the other. So this way you guarantee your affiliate gets credit. It's safest to use a code. It, it's safest to use a code. I, okay. I prefer using codes. The links work, but sometimes people will say there's a purchase that doesn't go through, and that's just because if you click on the link on your phone, it's not going to know that you clicked on it on the browser. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, you can use it forever, I guess. So this will be forever. So amount off, you want to do... So you could also do no amount off. You could do zero, so then your code just is a code. Oh, okay. So let's do... What was yours? Ten percent. Yeah. Ten amount of percent. So ten. Oops. Next questions. So you can put in details here. How many customers can redeem this coupon code? So for this, you're an affiliate, so you can do forever, uh, redeem by. If you want to be a specific person, you could do that. You do your grand total. I like to do a single use per customer. That way, you're only paying your affiliate for the first time your customer comes. But that can be up to you. So the first time someone uses this link? So the first time they get to your website. That way, if you upsell them later and they try to use your code again, uh, the code won't work. So then you could, at that time, you should have a relationship with your customer and you can give them a different code if, you, if you'd like. Okay, so now you just need to apply it to your plan. So here are your different plans. So you're going to want to do all your plans. Yeah. And then create promo. And that's it.
So now when they check out using this code, they should get 10% off. So, so you clicked into Mrs. and Training and created this. I can't create a code that anyone can use. Does it have to be HTML because it's... No, you can create a code that anyone can use. So first off, let's make this. You want 5% discount to the customer, correct? 10% discount. Well, to, you know, you want 10% being paid to your affiliate. Correct. So you only want this to be 5%. Five percent would be so. Like if I'm your cut, if I'm your no, 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 if I'm your customer, what am I getting off if I use the code? Nothing, or five percent? Five percent. Okay, so unfortunately, there's no edit that I know of. So we're gonna have to delete this. This is if I didn't want the ten percent. Ten percent. So okay. good practice. We'll just create code again. Okay, forever. So the customer is getting 5%. Oops, 5%. Max redemption, we did one, correct? No, that's not right. We left that for anyone. Grand total, enable, then getting back to your plans, all your plans. And create. So now your customer should be getting 5% off. And how does my affiliate get 10% credit in addition to that? So here in your affiliate, we can go to, let's see, we'll have to play a little bit. It's not dashboard. Traffic commissions. Here we go. So right now, here's your affiliate program. You only have one layer set up, so you can just edit it. You had it at 15, and now it's going to be 10. So payment for purchase. Payment is made monthly. Uh, purchase is on percent, and then for affiliate type. So if you were going to do a multi-layer or get a little bit fancy with your affiliate program, you could do that here. But right now, you're just going to do all affiliates. So save payments. And you're good. So the customer will get 5% off and they'll get 10%. So and that'll be 15% total taken from you. Right. So, so your affiliate gets 10%, your customer gets 5%. So total 15% off your package. Okay. Got it. Okay. But I can create codes that only give the affiliate their credit. Right. That's if I don't create a discount. So you can create a code that would only give the affiliate their credit. Also, that's what we did the first time. Yep. So you can go into your, let's go to your dashboard. So we can go into your affiliate. And then they have their custom dashboard here. So if you click here, this is basically what your affiliate would see. So now you, they can see their code right there. And then this is their current referral link. Um, we haven't set up short links yet, but we should probably do that right now, your referral link. So right now they'd have to use this link, and that's how they would get paid. But if we go back in here, we can go to settings, hopefully. Yeah. Build settings. Shorten the affiliate link. So let's do edit. Shorten URL. Save. So now if we go back into our dashboard, and then our affiliate page, and then view the portal as if they were going to see it, it should be a shorter code. So now this is much easier to share on social media or anywhere else. Get There's a lot of stuff you can do in here. There's newsletters that you can create, um, but there's instructions for all that. And actually what's really cool is the chat here. They're usually on live, very responsive, and if not, they'll get back to you within 24 hours. Okay, so I can ask them, hey, how do I create a coupon code, or how do yep. I tell change it from 10% to 20% for their link or something. Mm -hmm. And there's a lead dyno help section as well. And then same with, let's go back to Paywell. I think there's, so yep, they got the chat as well right here. So it's pretty easy. I Honestly, I always forget where the promo codes are because it's kind of invoices, doesn't make sense to me, but, right. but you can just use this.
and hair. Perfect. And they're actually pretty good as long as the business hours.